Hi guys, my name's Chris Appleton and I'm gonna break down for you American versus British beauty terms. So this one was really confusing for me. We're starting off with what Americans call this as a bobby pin and I call it a Kirby grip. So British Kirby grip, American bobby pin. And that took quite a lot of getting used to. Now I used to use endless bobby pins. Probably, I've probably put like at least 100 or 200 in someone's head. But as I grew and as I got better at hair, I realized you can actually only need a couple. So sometimes I'll just do a whole hair up with one bobby pin. It's almost like a challenge for me now to use less than more. So the second thing we're gonna talk about is this. So when I first moved to America, I went into Salon Centric and I needed some, what I call tongs. And I had a very confusing conversation with the guy that worked there for at least 15 minutes about me saying I needed tongs, going into great description of saying, well, they curl the hair, they get hot. And eventually we established that these are called curling irons. So again, I've transferred to curling irons now. I don't call it tongs anymore. Not sure why we call it tongs in England, but just the way we roll. Okay guys, for the next one, I'm gonna bring Bella in. So what you're seeing right now, you might describe as a high ponytail, but in the UK, and definitely in my language, I call it the snatch. So I was once on stage doing someone's hair, and, you know, I wanted to sort of show one of my like iconic looks. And I said, so I'm gonna um, basically give the hair a really good snatch. And the whole audience was hysterical of laughing, which really actually put me off. I didn't know why they were laughing or what I'd done. They were so funny. But I later learned that you guys don't call it snatch, you guys call it a ponytail. And snatch means something else in America, which I can't repeat right now. Okay guys, the next one was a real confusing thing for me and I still don't call it this. So the US term is beret and the UK term is hair slide or hair clip. Now I had a really confusing conversation with JLo about a beret. She said to me, why don't we use a beret? And I was like, what's a beret? Like a hat? And I'm like, you like a beret? She's like, no, a beret. So eventually we realized that it is a hair clip um, and I still call them hair clips. This one is my favorite. Okay, so you guys call this, what do you guys call this? I could you call it a hair elastic, but I call it a hair bubble. So I was once really desperate for a hair bubble and it was a red carpet moment. We had not a lot of time, we had to go and I was trying to ask anyone for a hair bubble because I needed to put hair up straight away. And I was asking the assistant of the celebrity I was working with for a hair bubble. And I knew she had them, but she was like, I don't have one. I said, I need a hair bubble. She's like, I don't have them. I'm like, I know you do. Why are you doing this to me? So we got into quite a conversation about hair bubbles. Obviously, I then learned that you guys call them hair ties. Okay, guys, next on the list, we have the headband. American term and English term, UK term is Alice band. I think this is called an Alice band because it's from Alice in Wonderland. I'm convinced that's where it comes from because Alice used to wear a headband, but I actually have changed and started calling it a headband. So no more Alice in Wonderland. I can't do that. I can't, I'm trying to make it interesting. Okay guys, for the next one, I'm gonna need an assistant. Mel, come on in. Okay, so, Mel's color here, as you can see, you guys call this highlights, but in the UK we call this foils. So super different. Highlights would be like a cap technique, like a old school cap where they pull it through. I still say foils, it feels safer. For the next one, let's get Bella back in. This is the perfect example of what you guys call pigtails, but in the UK we call them bunches. So hair bunches, just two hair bunches. And if you guys put them in like a wrap and if you guys put them in like a knot, I think you guys call this space buns. We call it buns. I'm gonna show you the perfect example of what you guys call a braid. And in the UK, we call this a plait. So hair plait, plaits, but never a braid. Okay guys, for my next example, we will need a pair of these. And Marla is kindly offered to be my model. So this is what we call in England a fringe and what you guys in the US call a bang. You sure? I think so. Let's do this. <laughs> when I first moved to um, America, I used to always think, why do they call it bangs? Like it sounds crazy, like a bang. A bang in England is a loud noise. But in actual fact, I have to say that I do now call it a bang. And the reason I call it a bang is because I think it's hotter. Like a bang, it's like boom. Literally like this now, like boom. Whoa! <laughs> you, see? you know what though? You're good because bangs are really hot right now. Yeah, I'm down for a bang. 
Yeah, you see, people just would not say that. If you said I'm down for a bang in England, that would just not go down well. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Okay. Thank you for being my um, demo. Thank you for coming my bangs. Well, I did be a fringe, but... Oh, fringe, fringe. fringe. We're, we're on fringe. We can call it bang. Let's call it bang. Let's call it bang. Okay, you ready? Yeah. The reveal. Oh my God! <laughs> oh, it's incredible. It's cute, right? It's cute. Do you know what? It's really cute. I would say a fringe is the biggest way you can transform your look without cutting all your hair off. It literally changes the shape of your face, the whole vibe. But do you know what's cute as well? It's my favorite is like when you wear your hair up and you get like a cute little bun. Like this, like a cute little bun and a bang. I think that looks so hot. I'm a new person. From fringes to bangs, I've had a lot of fun talking through these looks. Thanks for watching. Cheerio. That basically means in the UK, goodbye, good day. <laughs>